Hello everybody, just want to make a quick video on Nifty 50 and uh, my views on Nifty 50. Last week I had mentioned that Nifty is most likely to form an M pattern, which it did. We were about these levels, it went up a little bit in the beginning of this week, which has gone by, and then it started falling. So, to a certain extent, the prediction came true. Now, this M completes at about 17,300 odd levels, which is about 230 points lower from here. The, that is not the point of worry. The main point of worry is the US charts, the Dow Jones has broken this. If you draw a trend line like this, it has come below the trend line. Now, that is the point of worry. I don't think it should correct too much from here because if it goes further down and then it goes below 30,000, then we are looking at some violent moves. I hope it does not go there. I personally do not think it will go there because if it goes below 30,000, then Dow Jones is pretty much heading to touch pre pandemic levels, which is at 29,500. Can it touch pre pandemic levels? Uh, well, it, if it does, it'd be really surprising, but uh, nothing can be ruled out at this stage because pre pandemic level is only about 2000 points away. And what, what Dow Jones has shown us in the recent past is it can fall. It can fall over 2000 points in a day. So, so that is the only concern. Logically, if it goes there, it should recover very fast. But the problem is if it goes there at all. So this is the Dow Jones view. The worrying bit, as I mentioned again, is it reaching this trend line, which reflects on the Nifty chart. And this M may complete in the coming week, starting 19th of September 2022. Well, if it comes and completes this M and comes to 17,300 levels, that is not the problem. The problem is if it goes below that. Because if it breaches the 17,300 odd levels, then the next proper support is only at 16,700 odd levels, which is about uh, which is about uh, seven to eight hundred points lower from here. Even if it goes there, we will still be way above the pre-pandemic level, as uh, far as India is concerned. So this is the problem. So it, so Dow Jones is nearing uh, the pre-pandemic level. It's very close to its pre-pandemic level. However, our Nifty is still way away. From its pre-pandemic level we are about 5000 points away to our pre-pandemic levels and dow jones is only 2000 points away and again the way dow jones calculates and nifty calculates the difference is actually wider than one would think because they are at 30,000 odd points and we are at 17,500 odd points so that is the problem uh, there is a good chance that we may see a correction to 16,700 odd levels in the coming week or maybe the week after that. After that, we head into the, the festive season. Generally, during the festive season, our markets tend to do reasonably well. So the point we are reaching right now is a real confusing state of affairs. Um, it, the wise person would avoid trading in the coming week it's going to be a rough ride and, if, uh, and there are there are people who would actually make a lot of money in situations like this uh, because some people are very good when the markets are very volatile so these are some of my concerns the other concern is uh, the tcs chart as i've mentioned in the, the video i posted a, an hour or two back the tcs chart also had breached from the pre-pandemic levels if i draw a trend line and keep going up this is the first time a trend line has been breached by tcs now tcs if it goes below 3000 has got a very strong support at 2800 but if it goes below that then it will definitely go and touch below 2600 because between 2500 and 2600 it left a gap while it, 
it was going up. So on its way up, there was a gap of about 100 points between 2500 and 2600. It never came to come to, to close that gap. It just may come around now to close that gap. If you're a long term investor between 2500 and 2600 TCS would be a very good buy. It will be the ideal time to collect TCS. Uh, and if you're holding TCS at about 30 to 3300 levels, then you may see, uh, you know, TCS bleed a little bit in your portfolio. Uh, I don't know whether you would want to average or not at that, at lower levels. Uh, but on the long run, TCS is a good buy in my view, and uh, I consider TCS the best IT stock uh, when it comes to India. So again, we need to wait and watch uh, whether TCS goes to connect to, to close this gap or not. Uh, the, the, the thing that is important is everything is converging and there's a link between all of them. So the fact that Dow Jones is going down, the fact that Nifty is going down, the fact that TCS is going down and we we, we could go another uh, four five hundred points down in TCS. So everything is a possibility. I mean, and about 15 days back, all this would, would not seem as a possibility. We were very happy that uh, TCS touched 3000 levels or 2980 levels and bounced from there. And it seems like it's not going to fall back again. Nifty Bank again was very strong, we gave a very strong rally on the 14th and things were really looking up and then you suddenly see a downfall like the way we are seeing right now so the coming week starting on 19th of september is going to be really interesting uh, keep an eye out on nifty uh, keep an eye out on dow jones and how it's uh, how it's reacting if you look at another chart that i can show you which i've shared in another video about an hour back it is this so this is the us tech 100 chart Again, if you draw a line from the March 2020 pandemic and connect the dots, uh, it's come very close for the first time after the pandemic. It's only about, uh, it's only, uh, it's, it's less than 100 points away from breaching that trend line. So, so we are in a, we are in a state where things could move suddenly very drastically. In my personal view, we should just touch this and then go back up again. Uh, I don't see in my personal view a very big fall in Nifty. I don't see a very big fall in uh, in TCS. I don't see another significant fall in Dow Jones. But then again, it can happen. It might just go see a sudden fall and then climb up again. Or it can see a sudden fall and then stay there. The problem is if it sees a fall and then it stays there and goes sideways. That's the major problem. So. We need to hold on to our horses in the coming week, see how things trade and uh, see if we can find a trade that's profitable for us. Again, I'm not a SEBI registered invest. I'm not a SEBI registered analyst. The views expressed over here are only for educational purposes. Please consult your financial advisor before making any financial decisions. Thank you very much and have a good day ahead. Take care. Bye-bye.